In this video, I'm going to be going over how to create a chain link in Onshape. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with uh, starting a sketch on my front face. Again, it doesn't really matter which one uh, you choose. Uh, and I'm just going to draw a rectangle. We're going to start with a one and a half by two inch little rectangle there. Um, again, I'm just, I'm just kind of making up some dimensions here. You could make these whatever size you want. Um, and what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to round my edges. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on these two lines. That looks good. I'll go from the top to the right. I'll go from my right to the bottom. And I'll go from my bottom to the left. And so now all of those are rounded. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab my offset tool. I'm just going to click and drag, highlight all of my lines. This actually was perfectly in place, 0.25. So now we're gonna finish this sketch up. We're going to extrude and I'm gonna click my outside shape and we're gonna change this to a quarter of an inch. Um, so right now we kind of have like a blocky O looking thing. So let's clean this up. Let's make it look like a chain link. Let's fill it our edges. We can do the top two outside lines. Let's do the inside as well. And we're going to change this to 0.125, and that should round everything very nicely, yes. So that's starting to look like a chain link now. Um, so what we're going to do now is we are going to pretty much draw the same exact one, but going the opposite direction. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my plane, and I'm going to draw it on this face right here. We're going to have it go halfway through our chain link and I'm gonna start a new sketch on my new plane that I've just created. Um, so what we're gonna do now is, unfortunately, it won't let you lock on anywhere up here, so we might have to kind of dimension our way to a center point. Um, so let's do one, two, five. And we're gonna do point one, two, five. So as we look at this, this is just now the very kind of like the absolute bottom point it can be. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go down the thickness of our chain link. So we'll call that 0.25. And I'm just going to go over 0.75 because that's half of our line. I'll do two. We'll say 1.5. We'll go back down to and I will connect. Okay, so again, we're gonna fill it our edges. We're gonna round this. We'll go top to right side, round it. Right to bottom, right there. And we'll go bottom to left side. There we go. So now what we're gonna do is same thing. Let's grab our offset tool. I'm gonna be probably a little more careful here. I'm just gonna make sure I click all of the right lines. There we go. I'm gonna bring this inside. We know that this is 0.25. That looks awesome. We'll say finish sketch. Now that this is placed directly in the middle, we're gonna say extrude. Click our outside shape. Oop, we're missing a little part in there. Oh, it's because we're going too far, okay. Um, let's change this to 0.25. That looks better. Um, and then what we're going to do is instead of doing blind, we can actually see that sending it one way. It's not really in the middle now. So we can change this. Let's do symmetric. Nice. So now this is directly in the center. This bottom part of our chain link, I don't think went through. So let's actually go back. Let's look at this sketch too. What happened here? Let's try that now. Finish that up. Let's extrude that. There we go. It was a little funky, but we fixed it. Okay, let's do 0.25. Let's change this to symmetric. Let's take a look at this. We may have to do a new one um, because it's uh, not technically touching. So I don't believe it will allow you to do an add. So we'll just do new, that's okay. We'll say finish sketch. And so what we're going to do here now is the exact same thing. We're going to fill it our edges. We'll start with the two outside ones. 
be two inside ones, and we'll say 0.125. And there is our chain link. So now we have two chains in our link, and the last thing that we can do is we can actually uh, go to our linear pattern tool right here. And so what I can do is I'm just going to highlight my pieces. So now everything's selected. We're going to go in the direction. Let's go towards the top. Um, let's space this out. Uh, let's try three inches. Wow, that actually might be perfect. Yeah, that looks great to me. Let's do, uh, ooh, let's do, I don't know, 20. Sure. There we go. So you can kind of see that these are kind of alternating colors now, and we have a huge chain link right there now. What we can do is we can just highlight all of our chain links. We can actually just go over to the appearance panel, click new color. There it comes up. We can click on our silver. Oh, I might just be on this one right down here. Let's try that again. Oops. We'll do a new one. We'll just highlight all of this. Maybe. There we go. Select a color. We'll say, okie dokie. Now we have all silver chain links. And now the cool thing is, is, you know, why would we want to make chain links like this? Again, especially for, you know, if we are going to make, you know, maybe a swing set or a play set, something like this, we could go um, and we could actually start an assembly file and we could actually start to create um, swing sets like this um, with a little chain link um, handles right here. So, Again, this is how you would create chain links in Onshape.